Oh yes! I seen him come out! What are you doing, Briggsy? Oh I'm a leader not mate. What do you reckon? Should we look alright? Looks good, eh? Getting her a little tight in it now. Giving it a little more. Check out Briggsy's YouTube channel to figure out how to tie this mad FJ. What's that? The risotto finish, eh? Risotto finish. I haven't trimmed her up, she probably looks a bit skits at the moment, but right. sitting nicely, eh? Halfway there. Day three or morning three of what's been a pretty freaking awesome trip. Massive fish caught as you can tell, but today we're gonna try a new zone. Um, I fished this zone before with good good results. Got good fish there. Not too sure about the wind though, it's gonna bounce straight into it, but we'll see how we go. But we're all packed, just waiting for Briggsy and Cavi. Briggsy's tying up his knot and Cavi's got to do what they call a danger poo where they sit on some sort of cliff like up there, up there, and then they just like let it go. And yeah, it's, it's so skitsy like I, I can't even have them doing something like that. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do, eh? It's, it makes the trip, it makes it funny, it makes it worthwhile. But I'm really looking forward to today. Weather's a little bit better, not much, but a little bit, so we can probably venture a little bit further. Otherwise, we're gonna hit another zone that we found in that direction where I got the G, that big GT yesterday um, and lost another big one. Um, I don't think I got that on film though, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, day three, we've still got tomorrow as well here. So we took a little bit of time. Hopefully if the weather drops in down tomorrow, we're hitting the reef, but we'll have to wait and see what the weather does. But yeah, day three. Let's see how we go. Hopefully we get some fish. I'm packed and ready to go. Just charging one of my GoPro batteries. And we're gonna get at it. But enjoy the video guys. Let's do it. You ready? I haven't done my poo yet. <laughs> oh, I haven't had breakfast either. I haven't had breakfast. I eat my breakfast to do the poo. Oh, that's so feral. What are, um, what are you packing? What are you packing? Oh, you've missed. I've covered it with my gloves. Oh. Ah, there's some gems in here though. That one that caught that massive GT yesterday. Yeah, massive. And there's a few abalones. Patriot oh, Design. Nice. ASWDB, ASWDB, and another Patriot. So yes. I'm going to use the FCL today, FCL Labo. Oh, I see. Jeez. I want to go back to my um, expedition just because of the 5.5, the it's really light. This is a fair bit heavier. But, but potential 40 kilo hookup, MP10, yeah. And potential yeah, big, big. So, see how we go. Phew. This is the lure of the trip for me. This and the swims, but that is a Sea Falcon G270. But look at the sparkle on that. I had the smaller one, but got snipped by a shark. But if you can see that, fish are just crawling all over it. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Sparkle, sparkle. So I'll be throwing this again today, and hopefully we connect them to a massive one. We are taking all our stuff and putting it on the boat. I'm walking on the sand spit over here. Big splashes too. Back anchor. Front anchor. Now we're getting off. New zone, new area. Cavi and Briggsy over there getting ready to cast. I've got the Sea Falcon. Briggsy's running something a little bit smaller. He's got FCL TG190 Morning Tide Edition. Hey. Yeah, nice. And Cavi's got half abalone, half oh. yellow. Up there. Yeah. So we got like all shallow through here and then about what 10 15 out drop off yeah. So we're gonna cast from here onto there and we're gonna see how we go Big hookup potential 
One. Oh, we're already up. You got a drag of it, sir? Oh, oh, a turtle. Well, that's not the turtle that we like. Alright, so I've put the heavy hopping stuff away. I'm going to hit the shallow reef with the ever faithful Western Swim and try and find some lunch. Hopefully, coral trout or something along those lines. Walking out. This is so slippery. But well, let's have a cast over here and see what we can find. I reckon now that I've switched the lighter stuff, it'll be like GT straight up. Nothing in that zone over there. Cast the Western Sim for ages. Even walked all the way down there. But still nothing. So come back over to see what Briggsy and Caviar are doing if they've had any luck or we could potentially have a move back to the spot where we found a fair few GTs yesterday. That's where we got Cavi's one, my one, and I lost a big one too. So we'll see how we go. And we'll see what these boys are doing first. All right, great zone. Really, really nice all through there. Massive tide, but there wasn't much really going on. So we're gonna move, we're gonna walk back to the boat over there. Cavi's already on his way. We are going to move to the spot where we got the big GTs yesterday. So that's what we're going to do. But I think it's a really, really nice spot regardless. Really, really pretty. Water super, super clear. But yeah, that's the plan. We're going to move. Put all the gear and see you at the next spot. New zone. Ugh. Um, I'd probably say for now, just leave it in gear to hold the boat up against this and then just Just got to the new zone, unloaded all the stuff off the boat Cabby's out there about to put down the anchor And we have big GT hook up yesterday on that point there So it's run out tide now We have all this flat to hit And I reckon we're going to get into them, eh? It's probably like a drug shack or something. I was going to say, we should probably Is this not one of the most beautiful zones you have ever seen? Look at where we're fishing. On a rock, reef everywhere, massive bait school up there, potential massive GT. How good's life, man? Pretty good. How good is life? We are super, super lucky. Mate, my arms are on fire. My arms are on fire just carrying the rod. <laughs> I haven't even hooked up. Have you ever done this many consecutive days fishing? Like have I ever done this many consecutive days fishing? Like, where you fish all day and then all day and then all day and then all day. And all day, and all day. I haven't, man. Like, I haven't even done an overnight trip mostly. Like, it's all just been day stuff. But, okay. like, I think I just not used to casting so many times over and over and over again. You know, but it brings a whole new meaning. Like, I have so much more respect for GTs catching them off the rocks and stuff now, you know? Like, yeah. it brings a whole new meaning to it, which is just awesome. But, we're just waiting for Cavi. He's just putting his shoes on over there. I've got a bait tool at the end of my rod tip over there. I reckon we're gonna have hook up here, but we'll see how we go. All right, we're gonna move this spot. Was heaps of bait, had really good potential, but it didn't happen for us, so. We're gonna get the boat before we get stranded on this massive reef flat all around here. We're gonna fish the outside of it in the boat and then we're gonna head back to base and fish the big sand spit there because that's got some serious, serious, serious potential. But yeah, we'll do that. I just had a Western swim, just get absolutely smoked on 50 pound and 80 pound leader. Retie, go again. That was big, man, whatever mine was.
Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh yes! I seen him come out! <laughs> yeah, filming. Oh, it's gonna be a potential blow up, potential blow up, potential blow up. No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. He's out, he's out. Really shallow bomb, he's just there. Um, Rodney? Possible reverse. That was sick. Yeah, bigger though. Yeah, that's all right, man. It's not a bad size one, eh? Nice. Woo! sick, bro. Yeah, man. Almost busted me up, eh? His travel. That's crazy, man. That always that. travel. Like something's got him. Old wound healing up. Fully. Fully old. Spiro. Wound. Yeah. Possible <laughs> Spiro in the head. No, no head kick, no head kick. No head kick, no head kick. Oh, that's easy out though, that's good. Woo! That's so sick, man. Oh, awesome. That's it, boat session for day three, done. Tough day, man. Tough day. Really tough day. Found a nice little zone here with a couple of Gs on it. Briggsy got two, Cavi got one here, and then at the other zone got a nice big one. And then I got busted here, and then got another one. Literally, literally next cast, so that was really, really cool. But we're gonna head back to our camp now, um, and hit the, what's it called again? The spit, what is it? Um, sand spit deep drop marlin tip. <laughs> We're gonna hit the sand spit deep drop marlin tip because Briggsy saw a big marlin there yesterday. Possible spinner shark. <laughs> Possible spinner shark. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head over there now. I'm gonna use these to make migraine noodles. Go down here and we'll wash it in the ocean. Bit of sand. Wash all that stuff out. Take it sideways. Big rinse. Big rinse. Oh. That was pretty good. Morning. Get some water. Put it in like the middle of the fire zone. Right there. Hopefully that'll cook. Right there. It's all because we forgot pots, pans, and alfoil. So oop. Cubby actually found some pots and pans. Had a little abandoned hut thing. But I don't know how I feel about eating out of that. Probably have to boil it for a few days but that'll do for now. So that looks pretty ready, feels pretty ready, but it's gonna be way too hot to touch. So I got my bowl, my little cup thing, and some pliers to pull it out. Might put it here and then carry it over. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Let's see how I go with this. Oh, that works. Ah, little bit of, pour that out a bit, too much water. Bit of flavoring. Oh right dear. And that, how you make migraine noodles without anything. A bit of a stir. Looks pretty good, eh? 
That works, man. Hello, Nyla. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to try now. They look perfect. So I think they're going to be awesome, man. Big bite. Mmm. Really good. Primo. Really, really good. All right. So, just woken up. I'm absolutely cooked at the moment. Absolutely fried. But I just woke up from sleep. Probably going to sleep for like two hours or something, I reckon. Cavi's gone around the ledge over there to try and chase something massive. Uh, he's going from big, big. Um, I'm heading to the spit where I caught my Mac tuna, Trevally, um, Barracuda, and everything else that I've caught there. So I'm just walking over to meet Briggsy to walk out to the point to have a flick for, I don't know, hopefully something big with that sun over there. We'll probably only have another two hours of light and we'll um, hopefully get some fish. That's the plan. I don't know. I don't know why Briggsy isn't fishing. Maybe the water's too high already, but we'll see what happens. So I just caught the second long tom and we're going to uh, keep it and do potential catch and cook slash dive bones in the throat because I heard they're really bony. We just got back to camp and fire's going and there's our long tom. Going to prepare him later and we're going to wrap them in foil and put them in the fire. So we're going to cut him and lemon, salt, olive oil, come in the fire. And he should taste really, really good. Check out these teeth on this guy. If I can open his mouth. Look at that. Look at those teeth. That's crazy. Try and bite you. Big eye, big visual predator. That's in there. It's going on the fire. Okay. Salting it now. Big salt. Big salt. <clears throat> Bit of like olive oil. Oh man, what the? Is you put salt on it, it's it been started... dead for an hour and oh, it started kicking. What? Dead serious. I've never seen anything is like that, it. Is that a mummy fish? It's been dead for an hour. Can you put some more salt? That it started really launching. Man, it started kicking. It put salt on it and it started kicking. It started moving. It's been dead for an hour. <laughs> we ripped its head, like broke its head off. That's some nervous system Yeah. Going on for All right. right. Are we going to wrap it? Oh, lemon. I need oh, knife. Oh, his fins are twitching. Is it still thing, moving? Man. Or is that wind? It's the no, salt. No, that, that's... It's the salt. That's, yeah, it is. Look. Look at it. That's sick. That's crazy. All right, we'll wrap them up. Don't break the wrap. Nothing worse than a broken wrap. Oh, you know what you're doing. Oh, well, yeah, and that's like the longest of Tom's wrapped in elf oil, ready to go. Maybe. This is a meth brewer we found, or cabby found. Nah, that wasn't in the meth zone. Yeah, but probably still used for meth. Oh, okay. Oh, that was in just another meth zone. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Clamp him down. Ah! Oh, you touched really it. Woo! That's hot. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna do it again. <laughs> Was it in the fire? Uh, I was close to it though. Was Just it? this way, I reckon. You see the way? Like over. We need to put it really where Cavi is, buddy. Like, like I'm thinking like that. Really? Um, well, you don't want to directly over fire. What's this end? That, that won't get cooked. I can go this no, direction. Yeah, go over the fire. Like literally a minute per side. Yeah. So who's flipping it? Shutting not. Oh yeah, we need a tool. It's your catching cook. <laughs> All you need is a stick. Just go. That's a long time frying. Don't let it fall. It's burning my hand. Really badly burning. One, two, three. No, no. no. Are you flipping? Just drop it, just drop it, just drop oh. it, just drop it. Just drop it. Oh. You're right. We didn't flip it. Yeah, I'll flip it now. You start sticking. The stick's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got potential foil break. Get it back on, that's good enough. It's just to keep it in place. Oh, I'm burning. It's good, it's good, that's a good spot. Buy a lot. Turn the light, turn the light off. 
All right, couple minutes, so. Yeah, we just flipped him. Couple minutes, should be good. My God, my eyes are running, man. Smoke is burning me out. <laughs> you're um, you're not very confident, are you, about this? No, I just, I've never eaten long tom, and I've heard they're super bony, and they taste like beep. So, let's see how we go. There's these boys that wanted it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> long time off, long time off. All right, let's have a look. <gasps> it looks, oh man, it looks good. It looks really it looks good, amazing. man. Amazing. What? Look at that. That looks really tasty. Oh, Smell. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it smells so good. It actually smells like the best fish I've ever smelled Ooh, in my life, man. Oh, really? Come, good. come smell lemon, it, Cavi. It smells like whiting. Man, it does smell real good. What? <laughs> All, right. All right, man, first taste. Pull a bit off. Oh, you got under the, the fin. Under the fin bit, nice and tender. The crack fin, eh? Are you going to eat that? Wait. Yeah, I'm going to go. Show me your head. Do it. Are you eating it with, like, skin and everything? Yeah, man, because it's scaled. All right. Bones. It's actually really good. No are you bones. serious? Yeah. Yeah. Are you actually serious? Yeah, I really like it. Probably <laughs> needs a bit more salt, Briggs is right. Get the sauce on him. But man, that's really tasty. Oh, it comes off like Yeah, meat. it's cooked Flaky. perfectly. What do you reckon? It's pretty good, eh? It's a good fish. Really? Like, it's above edible. Above edible? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually real nice. Yeah. There's no coral trout. It's not coral trout. No, no, but it's pretty good. What's it like? Like a brim? Have Do a dig. Have a dig. Yeah. yeah. Have oh. a dig, Briggs. Give me some. Give me some. Briggs, it's uh, taste. Is that with skin? Yeah, man. It's I good don't usually. No, hit. no, it's good. Good. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, it's actually that. good. <laughs> nah, it's good. It's good. You like it? Yeah, it's really good. It's pretty chill. Why is it so good? There's, there's nothing special about it. But no, no, that's exactly right. But it just tastes like good white flesh. What's that? Is that all gills and stuff? Yeah, bar that. Don't oh, even Oh, look at this, man. That's the eyeball. Oh, look. What is that? Oh. That's eyeball, man. I dare to eat it. No. Oh, what is that? It's its eye. Look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't eat that. Eat the good Oh, bit. I dare to eat the ball. No. <laughs> I dare you. 20 bucks. Eat the ball. I don't do dare. Look. Eat that ball. Nah. Ten of these cans. Wait, let's flip it. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to do something. Stop, stop, stop. I have about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big removal. How cool are the blue bones, man? Yeah, man. It's blue boned. Look at the bones on that. Wait, give us a close Mine is blue. How blue. Cool is that? Well, that's it. You can think, who caught that? Me. Yeah, I caught that. That's right. Nice long time off the session where. Cavi got a little GT on super light gear. That's it. So you'll have to watch his video for that while he's munging down on his migraine. <laughs> um, but what, how big you reckon? Five, four or five kilo? What? Oh. Your little GT. Oh, I'm not sure. Three yeah. kilo. Great nice little fish on PE. It's PE too. PE too, so that's pretty crazy. Check that out. But that long time was delicious. Guys, you gotta, you gotta try them. So good. But yeah. So, catch a cook, long time, on an island with nothing style. All we had was alpha oil, oil, lemon, and salt. That's it. And it was so good. So, when you're at an island and you catch one, try them out. Because massively, massively underrated. All the boys, well, Briggs and Cavi, <laughs> Briggs and Cavi. All the boys. Gave it a thumbs up, that's for sure, because it was delicious. I'm going to go. This smoke is smashing me in the eyes. <laughs> Did you have a little voice pop then too?